a what's that? You'd like to hear a Colt startup on a 2017 Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory with an SC Project CRT exhaust? Well, since you asked so nicely, I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> So good. Hi, I'm Chad and welcome to Virtual Reality. I like to start my vlogs in Virtual Reality because it is a place where we can go fast. So without further ado, let us go fast. Back to reality. Now that we've admired the real view, I would like to talk to you once again about my 2017 Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory and its electronics. Today, we're going to be talking about my bike's cornering ABS system. Now, everything we're going to discuss today applies to all 2017 to 2020 Aprilia Tuono V4s and Aprilia RS V4s. And as I've done many times in other videos, we are going to start by talking about the electronic components present on this motorcycle that enable the function of quartering ABS. Then we're going to talk about exactly what it does and how it works. Then I'll try to give you a little bit of a demonstration and a comparison between the three settings that quartering ABS has. And of course we can be mesmerized by that howling to an OV4 growl. So good. Ooh. Oh, I do love my bike. As I've discussed in many other videos, which you should check out if you haven't already, the Tuono V4 and RS V4 are laden with a multitude of different electronic sensors that measure the bike's position in space and time, as well as the various inputs that you or I are making as the rider, such as throttle position, brake pressure. Then of course, the incredible things that the IMU detects, such as roll pitch and yaw, i.e. lean angle, the forward pitch of the motorcycle, the backward pitch of the motorcycle, and of course the direction which the motorcycle is turning left or right. So the IMU is kind of the hallmark of the cornering ABS system because, again, it allows the bike to know its position in space. And it can use this information to make very precise, very complicated decisions. In addition to the IMU, the bike also has wheel speed sensors at the front and rear wheels, which enable the bike to know how fast it is traveling, but also what the variance in speed is between the front and the rear wheel. The final component to this ABS system is, of course, the brake pressure sensor. Now this, of course, detects how hard you are squeezing the lever. Oh, hello, my fellow motorcyclist. So through this variety of electronic sensors, the bike is constantly gathering information much faster than you or I could process it. And it's using that information to make decisions about how it can best help you ride safer and faster and help you not crash the bike based on the rider aid settings you have selected. So, how does it work? What happens when you trigger ABS or cornering ABS? Well, when you're braking, again, the bike is getting all of this different data and information about what is happening with just about every aspect of the motorcycle. So let's just say you're going straight like this and you go and you grab a little too much lever. Now, depending on the setting that you have your bike on, a few different things can happen. If you have your quarter and ABS set on three or two, the bike is basically gonna do everything in its power to not lock up the front wheel. It's gonna add some resistance to the lever in order to keep the wheel from locking and sliding. And then it's also going to be aware because of the inertial measurement unit of how pitched forward the bike is. 
and from there prevent the rear wheel from coming off the ground. And unless I'm prepared for it, we obviously don't want either of those things to happen because they're unpredictable. And if you don't know how to react to them, it'd be quite dangerous. If your front wheel locks up and you just start sliding, you have no control over stopping yourself unless you can release the lever and regain traction. But what if you're leaned over in the corner? What if you're out tearing it up in the canyons and trail breaking deep into a corner and you start to lock the front? The front gets some chatter. Well, that's where the cornering ABS kicks in. Now again, this feature is only available on ABS settings two and three. So if you go to ABS one or turn ABS off entirely, you got no cornering assistance. So. If you're locking up the front wheel while trail braking and the bike's got some lean angle, it's going to know this because of the inertial measurement unit. It knows how far forward it's pitched, it knows what lean angle it's at, and it knows which direction it is traveling, left or right. In addition to that, it knows how much pressure you're applying to the brakes. So a traditional ABS system will just pump off the brakes, which in a lot of cases will actually stand the motorcycle up. So, if you are riding that twisty technical canyon road and you've got a cliff on your right hand side while you're turning left and just a guardrail, standard ABS is not going to be a huge help to you because it's probably going to send you into that guardrail and hopefully not off the cliff. But with cornering ABS, the bike is able to modulate the brakes in such a way that it reduces the amount that the bike stands up, enabling you to complete your corner and the safest course of travel. So allow me to make a quick series of demonstrations. I currently have cornering ABS set to three. So first, let's see if it's gonna let me do a stoppy. Down in first gear, just gonna grab a bunch of lever. Nope, no stoppy. Going through a corner, brake hard. Did you notice that the bike didn't stand up much until I was already at about a stop. Kind of hard to tell there, but it didn't just pitch me up as soon as I grabbed the lever. Of course, I wasn't carrying a ton of lean angle, and this is at the highest setting of intervention, but I grabbed the brake and it didn't instantly stand me up. So now we're gonna set it to two. Done. So first, let's see again if we can do a stoppy. Going pretty slow in first gear downhill which is kind of sketch but let's go for it and see what happens nope pretty impressive here's a nice left hand corner even though it's gonna go right so get a little bit of speed apply the brakes you see that held my line actually I didn't grab the brakes like super hard, but hard enough that the wheel would have chattered a little bit and abruptly enough, and it just kept me on my line. Even tightened it up a little bit. Now setting it back down to one. And then just to confirm, you have to be stopped to do this and you use the joystick, go select the ABS setting on the main menu of the dash and you can adjust it. Can't do it on the fly though, probably for the best. Check again, nobody behind us. So now that we have it on one, the cornering functionality and the rear lift mitigation functionality are both off. So let's see if we can do a stoppy. Still know it behind me, fantastic. Yup. <laughs> she stoppies indeed. And I'm not gonna try it breaking wall leaned over because according to the manual, the cornering function again is disabled with setting one. So, no sense in demonstrating that I can trail break right now, I guess. If you wanna see that, you can go watch this video where I go right on a racetrack. My God, the brakes! Oh, there's the knee down. <laughs> But that 
That is how cornering ABS works on the Aprilia 210 V4 and RSV4 from 2017 to 2020. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a gentle little click of the like button. It helps to get my videos recommended to other motorcycle enthusiasts such as yourself. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more 210 V4 content. I'm also an amateur motorcycle racer in a club race. We'll have a Daytona 675R track bike fully raced out on slicks and no kickstand and i also have a yamaha wr250x supermoto that i am learning how to do hooligan stuff on like wheelies in virtual reality of course so thanks again for watching and i will hope to catch you in the next one until then later